Hi guys, so before you watch the actual book haul and get into the rest of the video, I do want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, who is Serious Readers. So if you are a regular viewer on my channel or you've been around for the last year or so, you will have already seen me work with the Serious Readers a multitude of times. I am a very big fan of Serious Readers. I have had one of their lights now for over a year and I use it every single day and I honestly love it and I wouldn't be here recommending it to you guys again if I didn't. Honestly, it is such a good investment and I honestly just adore mine. Like, I don't know what I would do without it now, especially because in the UK right now, it's getting super dark and gloomy and I need daylight. I need better lighting to read. Serious Readers are a British company and they do make their lights here in the UK. And the best thing about their lights is not only are they amazing for reading, but they also just make really good lights generally. So you can use them for so many other things, especially if you have other hobbies like journaling or anything crafty they are amazing for stuff like that as well and the lights have so many cool features so you can adjust the brightness as well you can also adjust the light itself to get it in the best position for you which i honestly love about it so serious readers uses technology called daylight wavelength technology which basically replicates the daylight spectrum as is closely technically possible i really love that about it because like i said it is really dark this time of year so it's great to have a light that that does that and the lights are fully customizable so you can change the color you can change the metal you can have a heavy base or a lightweight base and you can also have it as a floor or table light. So there are lots of options and it's fully customizable to get it exactly how you want. So I will pop the details of the light that I have in the description box if you guys were interested in that one. Yes, I would highly recommend their lights and I have one from the Series Lights range, which consists of the high definition, the Alex light and the classic light. And all the products in the Series Lights range come with a five year warranty, which is amazing. A Series Reader, has been kind enough to give me a discount code that I can share with you so you guys can get a hundred pound off a high definition light and free delivery with this code so I'll have it on the screen here so yes I will have the discount code and all the information you need linked down below in the description box and in a pinned comment on this video again I just really want to reiterate how much I genuinely do love serious readers and this light is a very good investment for you if you are a reader in particular or as a gift for somebody else and obviously Christmas is coming up soon so yes if you are interested make sure to check out the details in the description box down below but thank you so much to serious readers for sponsoring this video and let's get into hey guys, it guys it's jody and welcome to a new video so today i'm going to do a book haul which i'm really excited about because i haven't filmed a book haul in a while that's kind of a lie because i have been filming unboxing videos but they don't count So yeah, this is a very long overdue book haul. And yeah, this is going to be like a super chill book haul. Like it's 8pm in the evening for me right now. And I'm just like half asleep. But I really want to get this filmed. So go and grab yourself a nice cosy blanket. And a nice warm mug of tea or coffee or hot chocolate. And get cosy for this video. Because it's probably going to be long. But I want this to have like a really chill cosy vibe. So yes, go and get comfy and cozy and let's get into the book haul so just to preface this as i always do i used to be a bookseller up until very very recently and as a result of that i used to get 50 percent off and that obviously enabled my book buying a lot i took advantage of that every single time i was at work even when i wasn't actually but yeah i basically bought a lot of books all the time and when I was leaving that job, I decided I will take advantage of it one last time and buy a ton of books, which is what I did. Now, this was several months ago, but I just haven't got around to filming this. I've also acquired a lot of books from publishers and that sort of thing. I've been gifted a few books. I've got a lot of books in subscription boxes and pre-orders. So we do have a lot of books to get through, but I always like to give a disclaimer to give a bit of context. But going forward now, because I'm not a bookseller, that's not going to change my book buying like maybe I won't be buying as many because I'm not getting that discount but I will still be buying a lot of books and it's perfectly okay no matter how many books you buy never feel bad for it it's your money and yeah I personally am more than happy to support the publishing industry to support my book buying addiction um it just makes me happy and life is too short not to be happy so I will continue to buy a lot of books and continue to talk about the books that I buy. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. So I'm not going to go in any particular order. I basically have a little bookcase next to me. You can't really see it, 
with all the books on that I've recently hauled. So what I'm going to do is literally just grab them and talk about them as we go. So yes, there isn't going to be any rhyme or reason to this. But the first thing I have is these stunning fairy loot editions of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I am obsessed with these. These are some of the prettiest books I've ever bought in my entire life. And yeah, I've only read A Good Girl's Guide to Murder a couple of years ago now, which I loved. And it's basically about this girl who has to do like a school project. And in the town that she lives in, a murder happened. And she believes that the person who was arrested for it was never actually the person who committed the murder. And as a result of that, she decides to do her like school project on this like murder. And eventually it leads to her kind of figuring out the kind of conspiracy and truth behind it. We also have Ravi who becomes like a companion and a kind of John Watson of sorts. It's like Sherlock Holmes and John Watson. Um, so they kind of like try to figure this mystery out together. Um, but it's a like murder mystery. It's a young adult one. I love this so much. There's a TV show being made, which just makes me so happy. Um, so I cannot wait to continue the series. But yeah, basically that's what it's about. And this is a fairy loot edition. So it is this like metallic design. We have these amazing sprayed edges. Um, we have end papers of our main character Pip here. I'm pretty sure her name's Pip. These are also signed by Holly Jackson as well. And then under the dust jacket, we have this stunning design. I love the simplicity of these because I feel like if you did anything more, it just would not match the vibe of the book. And I just love it. So yeah, it is like silver and it matches the sprayed edges. So that is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Then next, we have the second book in the series, which is Good Girl, Bad Blood. This this one is red in design it has the sprayed edges with the headphones now these are my favorite sprayed edges of the three look how cool they are then we have pip here on our end papers for this book this one is also signed and then under the dust jacket we have this design which is just so cool like if you look at the back it has the headphones and it kind of goes round and just matches the sprayed edge. So I do love how the sprayed edges match the design under the dust jacket. Um, that is the second book. And then our third book is As Good As Dead. And this one is black and white. And I love the sprayed edges for this one because it's like a newspaper and like crime tape and stuff. I just think they're so cool. And we have Pip and Ravi together. Look how cute they are. I love them. And then this is signed. And then under the dust jacket for this one, we have like shards broken glass and i love how the dust jacket is black but then the naked book is white i just love the contrast so yeah those are our holly jackson books um from fairy loot which i am obsessed with i am just obsessed with these edges like so so stunning um some of the best braid edges i've ever seen so i'm very very happy to own these and yeah i can't wait to read the other two books in the series so this next book i got in a aluma crate box and i think this is in their ya box i've already unboxed this in one of my monthlies and that is the just sad air but i've heard about this book so much recently and a couple of people i work with love this book and keep basically throwing it down everyone's throat which i'm here for like when someone can't show up about a book it usually means it's very good and i really really want to read it mostly because i do trust their recommendation but also this is apparently very good enemies to lovers and this is signed anyway so this is like the inside this is a dust jacket which i'm not really a fan of the dust jacket but i do kind of like it like i don't know if you guys can see but it's like got this metallic detailing here but i just feel like it could have been more same with the spread edges but they're still like really really cool and then under the dust jacket it just looks like this here which i do really like but i love this on the spine it has like a quote which i think is really cool um but this is what the naked hardback looks like so i can't remember exactly what this is about but i don't really want to i really want to go into this not knowing a lot because I feel like if I know too much, I might go in with expectations that are even higher than they already are because I will be expecting certain things that I have kind of made up in my head from reading the synopsis, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to go into it, have a fun time, see what happens. All I know is it's like a YA fantasy and I think we have a girl who's some kind of like lost maybe princess or something and yeah, I think she ends up working with like her enemy, something along those lines. It sounds amazing. I love anything like that. And like I said, I've had a few recommendations from people to read this. It's definitely up there on my TBR. Maybe not in October, but probably before the end of the year. So yeah, I'm very, very excited to pick this one up soon. And I'm happy that I have this nice Illumicrate edition. Okay, so this next book, we have The Stars Are Dying by Chloe C. Panaranda. And this one I bought simply because I saw this 
all over my bookstagram and my book talk and all i know is this is a fantasy romance and if you tell me anything's fantasy romance and it's good i'm just gonna buy it i don't even need to know the details honestly but when i saw a picture of the naked hardback i was like yep i'm buying that like i have to have that so this is one of the books i got during my like i'm leaving waterstones book splurge and i have no regrets look at them i don't know who they are and quite frankly i do not care i still love them like i'm obsessed with them like this hardback is so beautiful i love it and on the back it says when falls night the world will drown in starlight oh, it just sounds so good and on the back it says the brightest star needs the darkest night that sounds like enemies to lovers to me um it kind of reminds me of the hurricane wars not gonna lie but yeah i honestly don't know a lot about this literally all i know is that like i think they form some kind of like bargain or something so basically in their world it says the stars are dying um the celestial guardians have abandoned them and left them to suffer a tyrant king our main character asteria um has fragments of her memories only from the last five years so she wants to know more about herself and her memories where she came from what her past is like all of that good juicy stuff. It says here, that means fleeing the cruel arms that hold her safe from the wicked vampires rumoured to roam the land. I didn't realise there was vampires in here. And then it says she stumbles upon mysterious night. She soon realises determination alone isn't enough to guard her heart. And they form some kind of bargain. And I'm assuming they fall in love. I didn't know this had vampires. So I'm very, very excited about that. And I just think this is going to be such a good fantasy romance. And I literally cannot wait to read it. Then next we have the fairly edition of Shanghai Immortal by A.R. Chan so this one i got in my monthly subscription box we have our little author letter and card and this one is so beautiful inside look at the end papers like i am in love with those and then we do have these stunning sprayed edges which i love this one is digitally assigned as well and then we also have some art under the dust jacket which so pretty look at that i love it and it's like one of those really nice like hardback materials and like look at the spine as well i just love it so much this one honestly sounds amazing we have a half vampire half fox spirit and it says here we've got chinese deities and demons cavorting in jazz age shanghai sounds incredible and i love the fact that she sounds like a badass and there's also a bit of romance in here and it just sounds amazing so i'm very excited to get to this one i've heard very very good things and this edition is so beautiful like i just love these edges so much and then i do have another fairly book next which is sing me to sleep by gabby burton this is a YA fantasy it has an all black cast and this is one of the most stunning books i've ever seen so firstly the cover this color palette absolutely slayed look at it um but the edges so pretty this is also a mermaid fantasy and we have these stunning end papers, which I'm obsessed with. And then we have our naked hardback. Now, I love this because it has the moon on. Oh, I forgot to show these end pages as well. Um, but look at the design of the naked hardback with the moon. I'm sorry. Everything about this is just so perfect. The moon on it, the golden, like, tealy blue. Just absolutely beautiful so this is here it's featuring an all black and brown cast of forbidden romance and a compulsively dark plot full of twists this seductive way fantasy is perfect for fans of cruel prince and to kill a kingdom so i loved both of those books so i'm so excited to read this one and this truly is a beautiful edition of this book i think a lot of the books i'm pulling off this top row are actually fairly books and i just realized how many books i have because they're double stacked so i'm going to need to hurry this along a little bit more um so next we have last violent call by chloe gong this is the fairly exclusive edition these are our spread edges and um, this is what it looks like it's this really nice pink color this is signed by chloe gong if i can open it so this is like a novella in the foul lady fortune kind of series i believe and yeah it's surrounding the events of that book as well and following some of the cast from these valent delights so i haven't read any of those books yet but i do plan to and i'm glad that i have this one when i do and then next we have the fairly exclusive edition of yellow face by rf kong this one i love i absolutely adore this book when i read it earlier this year this is in my top 10 books of 2023 it's truly one of the best written books ever i cannot recommend this enough i've never read anything like it and it has a very intimate prose and i've never felt like such an intense kind of feeling before when reading and the way that it ensnares you is just like literally insane um but i really love this book and it's like a contemporary thriller is how i describe it 
but this is what the sprayed edges look like for the Fairyloot edition. So we have a little typewriter and like the little papers coming out of it. And I just absolutely adore the edges. We also have these end papers here. It is signed as well. And then under the dress jacket, it just has these little cool eyes on, which I love the simplicity of this as well. So yeah, this book, love it so much. I think this is like my fourth or fifth edition. I will carry on buying more editions of this book because it's one of my favourite reads. Um, but yeah, would highly recommend this book. Okay, so this next book is the fairly exclusive edition of Bonesmith by Nikki Palpretto. So this one, I have the dust jacket turned like the other way round. This is the reverse side. But I'll just show you what it looks like because it is truly beautiful. Look at this dust jacket. Like, I'm obsessed. She is just such a badass. I love her. So yeah, this is the fairy loot edition. Look at these edges. I'm sorry, but they are amazing. And it has like this really cool design on the top and bottom edge as well. I literally just, I can't get over these edges. I think these are some of the best edges I've ever seen. And I know some people don't like digitally sprayed edges or like the character but it works so well with this especially if you do the reverse dust jacket because like look at this combination like i'm obsessed but yeah so this is bonesmith and this is our main character ren who is just so selena sadoffian coded honestly have our love interest and our enemy julian honestly i just love them with my whole heart this is also signed by the author and then underneath the dust jacket we have this amazing design which obsessed with and then this is the original dust jacket but fairy loot is just ever so slightly different so this one has like the gorgeous gold it has this gorgeous like shine to it and i'm just obsessed with it so yeah this has like a little color change and i just love this book so much um i recently read it i gave it 4.8 stars it's not quite five i'm trying to be more picky with my five star ratings but i really want to give it five this book totally took me by surprise i did not plan to love this book as much as i did like honestly i thought it'd be fun but i didn't think i'd love it it's pictures game of thrones meets gideon the ninth and i haven't actually read either of those but i've seen the show for game of thrones and i can definitely agree with that it has ghosts in here that are so like white walkers but yeah this is like the undead she literally fights them for a living and her and her sworn enemy are thrown together in this quest to get answers to things lots of things happen along the way there's so many plot twists in this book so many good character development moments and good like relationships and dynamics between characters the world is really really cool and i honestly just adored this book cannot wait for book two would highly recommend this like i think this might end up going in my top 10 because it was just such a good YA fantasy like i haven't read anything with this sort of world before and i couldn't stop reading it like i would definitely recommend this to everyone so yeah that is the fairy loot edition anyway then next we have the fairy loot edition of the stolen air by holly black i promise you this whole haul isn't fairy loot books like there's so many books it's just all my fairy loot ones are kind of together this book literally is one of my favorite books i own i love the color palette for this the gold like it's so shiny and beautiful and then there's this quote on the back i'm just obsessed honestly haven't read this yet but definitely plan to soon this is our gorgeous gold edge it's so pretty this is set in the world of the folk of the air trilogy but it follows jude's brother forgotten his name off the top of my head i think it's oak or something and that's all i know about it but these are the end pages which i love them and then under the dust jacket we have this beautiful white and gold design super super beautiful love it so much so yeah i'm actually kind of obsessed with this book even though i haven't read it and it has a letter from the author inside the book which is so cool so that's that one and we have threads that bind by kika hatsapolu so this is from one of the ya monthly boxes and this one is so gorgeous this is our design here with the silver and then we have these stunning sprayed edges with the moon now i love the moon as you all know as you can tell by my name here on youtube so i am naturally obsessed with these but they also have like this kind of celestial vibe either end which again i just love we have some end paper art and then we have end paper art on the back here i believe this is kind of greek mythology inspired and this one just like i'm sorry but look under the jacket 
it's so so pretty and then we do have a reversible dust jacket as well which i'm obsessed with i keep saying that about every single book but i am obsessed with all of these books i'm not gonna lie this one as well is also signed by the author which is super cool it says here the threads that bind weaves together a gorgeous dark tapestry of mystery fated romance and modern myth you won't be able to put this one down so yeah i love fated romance so very very excited for this one i've had very very good things and i think i will love this when i get to it and i just love the color scheme for this like it's so pretty and i just love foiling on books like just makes my heart happy so next we have the us edition of foxglove by adeline grace have i finished reading belladonna yet no do i own three copies of it yes um so anyway i have the us edition of belladonna i pre-ordered it i think or i bought it not long after it released in the uk because i honestly thought i'd be obsessed with this book now i still might be when i finish it it just wasn't right for me at the time um but i am currently reading it and i am enjoying it but I wanted to have like the US edition of Foxglove to match my US edition of Belladonna. And the first like print one of these has this gorgeous art. So this is what it looks like inside on the end papers. But look under the dust jacket. This is why I got it. And my Belladonna has this as well. So it has this stunning design underneath on the naked hardback, which so so pretty and um, the quote says it is said that foxglove is most lethal just before the seeds ripen no idea what the context is to that quote but i like it nonetheless so yeah i did order that because i wanted to have a matching copy and because of the stunning like first edition that you get i had to plus this is like embossed i don't know if you can tell i think that's the word like it's risen if that makes sense um which i do like and this is one of those little diddy hardbacks which is so cute so yeah very very happy that i did get this one and i can't wait to put it on my shelf next to my copy of belladonna so this next book is from an illumicrate monthly box and this is the sun and the void by gabriella romero la cruz and this one has stunning edges like i'm obsessed um again we have moons on the edges and then we have stars here so obviously the reason i love this is for the moons and um, but this is our cover which i have to say the redesign cover of this is so beautiful i love it so we have like this gorgeous gold foiling and the back as well is so so pretty this is the art on the end papers here our naked hardback looks like this with the gold naturally a big fan again because of the moon design oh this is such like a nice i can't explain it but like just the way these pages are flopping makes my heart happy but yeah i can't remember what this is about and i don't really want to know i think i will go into this one not knowing a lot and just be surprised because i literally have no clue what it's about like every single thought i've ever had about this book and everything i've ever read about it has apparently not been saved in my brain and it's just been like control or deleted like i literally cannot remember anything and i feel like that would be fun like to go into this not knowing much um but i do love this edition it's so so pretty the whole moon vibe as well just it has me in a chokehold um this is signed by the author and it also has a letter from the author inside the book which is really cool so yes i do love this edition a lot then next we have this book which is not a fairly book um so this one i bought when i went to bath in august because i'm pretty sure i saw jan here on booktube talk about this book and love it and then i've seen a couple of other people read it it's definitely not my usual this is supposed to be a little bit similar to sally rooney i believe but sally rooney i just don't think i'll ever read one of her books it's just not for me i can't get over the writing style and i think it is an irish writing style specifically where it, there's like no speech marks and stuff i just can't do that my brain would just get far too confused um and that's on me and not on sally rooney obviously but yeah it's just not for me i don't think and i'm not a big literary fiction girly but this one for some reason i just gravitated towards it and i was like i'm gonna get it um so that is adelaide by genevieve wheeler and i love this cover it's so beautiful so yeah i believe this is literary fiction and it's kind of a reflection of love and putting ourselves first in relationships and things like that um, so it says here with unflinching honesty and heart this relatable debut from a fresh new voice explores grief and mental health while capturing the timeless nature of what it's like to be young and in love with your friends with your city and with a person who cannot and will not love you back so it sounds a little bit like it's about unrequited love as well as mental health and i just feel like this is going to be such a good book i feel like there'll be parts of it i can relate to um parts of it that i can't relate to but will find interesting and i'm just really really excited it's one of those books that's kind of more of a 
deep dive into life, relationships, um, human connection, that sort of thing. So I'm very, very excited to read this and it will definitely be a very, very different read to what I normally do. Like, it's definitely going to be different to the fairies and, um, you know, fantasy smut I usually read. Um, but I am excited to pick this up at some point and I feel like it will be a really good read. So yes, I'm very, very happy that I did get this. And then this one I was sent. Um, so this one is Witchcraft, A History in 13 Trials by Marion Gibson. I was sent this whilst I was still a bookseller and I can't wait to read this. I love anything to do with witches. If you've been, if you're on my channel for a few years now, you'll know that I collect books on witchcraft and I find the history of witchcraft so so incredibly fascinating and everything that goes with it not even in a sense of like magic and all of that stuff and like the fantasy stuff which I do love I mean purely from a sense of like kind of what it was like to be a woman in that time when you could be persecuted for anything and be called a witch and killed for literally anything I think it's a really interesting part of history an awful part of history but interesting nonetheless I just like to see what the kind of I guess social constructs were like back then as well as like the kind of folklore superstitions and mythology around it I just find it fascinating I love anything to do with witchcraft um so I do love to read things like this this one I think I'll probably listen to as an audiobook this is like it says on the front a book about different witch trials throughout history and yeah I'm looking forward to reading this I just love finding out new things and I love this book cover as well I just think it's so cool so if you have any recommendations of historical books I guess not fictional like non-fiction to do the witchcraft leave your recs down below I'm just really looking forward to picking this up and it probably will be perfect to pick up in October so I'm thinking I probably will get the audiobook for this one soon and give it a listen but yeah I'm definitely looking forward to reading this one okay this is gonna get really random because I have so many different kinds of books on this shelf um so I am sorry if it's a bit all over the place but anyways the first one we have in my hand is From Bad to Curse by Lana Harper I recently talked about this in one one of my videos I think is my October reset was when I bought this I went to get a spooky book and um, this is a witchy rom-com and it says the it's an opposites attract rom-com so I'm very very excited about that don't know anything else about it don't really need to if it's witchy and it's a rom-com I'm gonna read it so yeah I bought this because I really want to try something by this author and this was the only one they had in the bookstore at the time so I'm very very excited to read it I've heard Paybacks of Witch is really good which is from this same like series by this author so I definitely will pick that up if I enjoy this one but yeah I'm very excited because I've heard very very good things about this series and I think I will really really enjoy this then next we have Jujutsu Kaisen volume 19 I haven't read all the other volumes yet but this was three pounds and I do want to read all the volumes I have all of the volumes um I just haven't read it yet so I love the anime anime is just stunning i've only watched the first season though so please don't spoil me i just i saw a spoiler for something that happens to one of my favorite characters and that's why i'm withholding from reading and from watching like the movie and everything else but anyway i digress i love the first season and yeah i got this because it was reduced to three pounds and that's just such a bargain so i did pick this up this next one totally polar opposite to jutsu kaisen this is like a ridiculously long romance book and don't come for me I love my romance books but no romance book should be this long this is literally insane i didn't know it was this long when i actually physically ordered it and i do have this on my kindle but like i said i was going a bit crazy with my last time at the bookstore with my 50 percent off and i was like yeah i'm gonna just order any book i want but i could probably kill someone with this this is like so heavy like i can't i'm not exaggerating it's so heavy that is pucking around by emily rath so this is what it looks like but like why why is this necessary for a romance i'm sorry i just i can't no romance book should ever be 700 pages long although i do have marina zapata and i'm pretty sure one or more of her books are that long and i will read it and i will read this and probably eat it up and love it but at the same time like come on it's a romance like this is like a length of a fantasy novel but yeah anyway i'm gonna stop moaning so all i know about this is the hockey romance and that's it don't know anything else i've heard it's very very good and i wanted to get some more sports romance because i go through phases where i get really into stuff like that and i wanted to make sure i did have like plenty of them on hand 
and like I said I'd been eyeing this one up for a while and I knew this paperback was expensive and I figured I may as well get it now whilst I've got the 50% off so that when I do get around to reading it I will have this physical copy whether I read this physically like this or if I just read it on my kindle I would end up wanting like this book physically if that makes sense if I read it on kindle first so I just went and got it now and then I've got it um so yeah I'm very excited to read this I've heard it's really really good and I do want to read some more sports romance and I do enjoy a hockey romance so I did pick this one up couldn't tell you what it's about but alas here we are so this next book one of my lovely patrons Claire got me and this one I cannot wait to read because I've had so many good things about it Abby Jimenez I think is how you pronounce the name I can't remember what the other book is they wrote I'm pretty sure I bought it and it's probably here I think it's Noah yeah this one not Noah <laughs> I think it's this one here, um, the Happy Ever After playlist. So I did buy this a while ago because a few booktubers I watch had been talking about these books and I added this one to my wish list and Claire very kindly got me it. So I have like Claire's little note in here. She got me this as a little congratulatory present for getting my job at Fairy Loot. So yes, this will hold a very special place in my heart and when I read it, I can't wait to see that note. Um, but this one, I think it's like an office romance and I believe they're both doctors. So maybe it's not an office romance, but they're both doctors. I don't think they like each other very much but then they slowly get to know each other that sort of thing so we do have yours truly and then the other book is the happy ever after playlist um again by the same author I don't know a lot about this I just think this is to do with this girl and I think she found a dog it turns out to be like some musician who's on a tour this dog or something and they start like corresponding I think online and then they silly fall for each other the rom-com it sounds amazing and i can't wait to read both of these because like i said i've heard so many good things about this author um so i did very very kindly receive this one and very kindly to myself bought myself this one that doesn't even make sense but you get what i mean um so yeah we have these two i did buy a lot of romance books here okay okay so next we have the modern girl's guide to magic by lindsay hall and this is from the charming cove series so again all i know about this one is it's a witchy romance and that's the only reason i bought it I can't even remember where I found out about this book. I think it might just been through Goodreads. And it says here, our main character is a witch. She comes from like a long line of witches, but it always blows up in her face. She's not very good at it. And it says here, she ends up in a competition to win the biggest magical fortune in England. There's someone called Callan Hawthorne, billionaire mage. So say no more. So I think maybe it's something to do with like winning his fortune or something like that. I don't know what the situation is, but it sounds like it's going to be a fun time. And if we have a billionaire mage, who am I to say no? So yeah, I'm very, very excited for this. I also love this cover and this is so perfect, obviously, for this time of year. So this will probably go on my immediate TBR because I feel like this will be a really good read. Um, but we do have that one. And the next one we have was, I might have already showed this, but this is one of the books I bought to read this summer. There's quite a lot of summer books in this haul I'm not gonna lie that's how long I've been meaning to film it um but I didn't unfortunately get around to reading a lot of these but we have Six Summers to Fall by CW Farnsworth so I bought this because it's supposed to be a little bit like Lindsay Perkins books I'm pretty sure that's the other's name is it Lindsay Perkins not Lindsay Perkins I don't know where I got that from NS Perkins who wrote The Infinity Between Us which is one of my all-time favorite books cannot recommend that book enough so beautiful made me sob my heart out like oh my god books never do that to me not really unless i'm like extremely attached to the characters or depressed but yes not a lot of books do that and that book was just so beautiful and i have also bought their other books which is in this haul but i did get this one because it came up on goodreads as like one that's supposed to be a similar vibe so it's a second chance romance it's across six summers and that's kind of all i know about it and the cover is adorable as well and i just love these like little kind of indie romances that are like kind of short and sweet and like summery so this one i probably won't read till next summer but i'm still really glad that i decided to pick it up then next we have reckless by elsie silver so honestly i'm not sure if i will end up reading this one now um i pre-ordered this because it's like the us paperback to match my other ones and i don't know if another one has come out since it may have yeah this is a cowboy kind of romance i have read the first book in this series and i did enjoy it it was a fun read don't massively see the hype like i feel like for me personally like i didn't love it as much as it was hyped if that makes sense um, but I still did enjoy it enough to like want to read the rest of the series.
series i just haven't but i think this one has like a pregnancy trope in here and i'm just not into that so if that is the case i probably will pass on reading this one but i'm not 100 sure maybe i will but yeah we have reckless anyway by elsie silver and i love how like the pages just flop in this book i love the way books are bound in the us it's just so much floppier than the uk and i love it this next book is a sports romance this is a soccer one and this is say you swear by megan brandy i've heard so many good things about this i first saw this book on tiktok and that's what made me buy it and all i know about it is it's supposed to be amazing it's supposed to have some pretty dark themes in here and be quite emotional and on the back it says they say first loves last forever that's exactly what i'm afraid of so yeah i'm looking forward to reading this one i recently saw a tiktok of this girl literally losing her mind reading this and like giggling and crying and all sorts and it made me want to immediately pick it up so i'm very very excited to read it and like i said i definitely want to read a lot more sports romance i just have to say though i'm not a fan of this like who is this dude like who is that that is obviously someone like it must be i'm pretty sure it's not ai so like who are these people <laughs> like yeah i hate it when like real people are just like on the pages like that but anyways still excited to read this book still happy that i bought it hopefully we'll get to it very soon okay so next we have these three which i just bought randomly and um, these i got again when i was leaving the bookstore so these are all by grace riley and we have first down um which is part of the beyond the play series so these are all sports romans um so we have this one here and it says in the back tutoring the new star quarterback in exchange for a few fake dates won't lead to anything more right so it sounds like the deal by ellie kennedy which i really liked so i did get very excited when i saw that and then we have breakaway and this one has a cat on the front which if there's a cat on it i'm sold and um, this one is an ice skating romance i think and it says a secret friends with benefits arrangement with the coach's daughter shouldn't have a shot in the dark to leading to more of leading to more that was supposed to come out my mouth but it didn't um but yeah it sounds amazing and then the last one we have is stealing home and this one says i should be focusing on my game and not on falling for my gorgeous grumpy roommate especially since she's already left me once so we have a roommate romance these just all sound so good all really tropey very excited they all have really cute covers as well and i can't wait to read them i just love books like this they're just like really easy and fun reads so remember i said i went through a phase of buying loads of um sports romance we then have long shot by kennedy ryan this one is a basketball one i think i love this cover as well don't really know much about it but i think she ends up being with like a basketball player or something something along them lines never read a basketball um romance before so i'm excited for it then this next one is mine would be you by k jamila can't remember where i found out about this one but i think this is a romance and that's all i know literally cannot remember a single thing about this book but i basically went through goodreads and tried to find some like indie like romance books or just maybe ones that weren't like super duper popular i just wanted to try something like i've never tried before be a bit spontaneous and i don't know like i ended up on goodreads for like ages scouring like lists and all sorts just to try and find some new romance history that i hadn't heard of before and this one came up and apparently i like the sound of it enough to order it but i just don't remember what it's about but yeah it says in the front life is about finding that little light in the dark so i agree with that so maybe i will agree with the contents of this book but we shall see um but yeah anyway so i'm very very excited to read this even though i don't know what it's about but past me seemed to be excited about it and bought it so future me will hopefully be thankful to pass me for doing that okay so this next one was another kind of summary one i bought and this is spring tide by kai stevens and this is what it looks like it says on the back a secret for a secret a lie for a lie it's not really blackmail if she's the one who used him first so that sounds fun <laughs> um again not sure what compelled me to buy this one but it has a playlist in the front and usually when a book has a playlist it's usually very very good so yeah very very excited to give this a read probably next summer again because it looks like it has a summery vibe and um, but this is an adorable cover and then we have one of the ns perkins books that i was talking about i don't know where the other one is i did get two um i have no clue what this is about or the other one i bought the only reason i bought them is because like i said i read the infinity between us 
absolutely loved it and I was immediately like I have to read her other books so I don't even need to know what they're about and um, but they're all quite short and they're like romance books and like second chance romance this one's called A Risk on Forever and I love this cover like look how gorgeous that is um, so we do have that one and then another one somewhere in this stack. And then we have another romance which is The Two of Us by Taylor Torres. And I think I have seen this on Bookstagram. And it says on the back sometimes holding on to pain means letting go of love. So yeah this is another romance. I think it's quite an emotional one. And then I have another sports one which is Her Greatest Mistake by Hannah Cohen. Again bought this because it's another hockey romance. I love college romance like hockey romance. Just so good. So yeah don't know what this is about but apparently it's supposed to be a little bit like the deal by ellie kennedy so i'm looking forward to that and i feel like it will be fun is that a cat toy on the front am i just like literally too obsessed with my cat or is that a cat toy because that looks like a cat toy um but anyway yeah we do have this one okay so next we have this rebecca yaros book which is in the likely event i randomly bought this from a bookstore because i just wanted to like support them because they were like this super small bookstore in the middle of nowhere and this is such a floppy paperback. I don't know if I would definitely like this because some of the content in here, I believe, is kind of like being pro something that I'm personally against. So I don't know if that is the case because I haven't read it yet and I don't know if I will like it. But basically we have these two people who end up on a plane together. Then the plane like crashes or something and they had like this connection but then like they go their separate ways, he ends up in Afghanistan, she ends up in Afghanistan doing something and then he has to protect her while they're in Afghanistan. So yeah, that's kind of all I know about it. The only reason I want to read this is because it's by Rebecca Yaros and I've obviously only read Fourth Wing by this author but I want to try out some of their other writing and obviously this is totally different. It's not fantasy, it's contemporary, like romance I think. And yeah, it just sounds like an interesting story. I've never read anything like it before. I just want to try something else by this author so I did decide to go and get it and we shall see if I like it or not but I'm not 100% sure that I will. Guys, I'm not even halfway through this haul. I've been recording this for like 45 minutes and I'm not even halfway through. I literally want to cry. Um, so next we have The Only Purple House in Town by Anna Aguirre. Aguirre? I'm not too sure how that's pronounced. Um, but on the back it says, In a magical town like St. Clair, anything is possible. And I believe this is a romance. It's supposed to be a little bit like The Secret Society for Regular Witches. That's all I know and that's all I'm going to say about it because... I'm talking too much. Um, next we have Lucy Scores Forever Never. Um, I bought this one because it's supposed to be a really a good wintry romance. I never read anything by this author. It says hey you don't fall for your brother's high school sweetheart, your boss's daughter or your ex-wife's best friend. Especially when they're all the same woman. So this is like a second chance romance. It's set during winter and yeah I just figured it might be fun as a winter romance because I don't really own too many of those. And I do want to try something by Lucy Scores so maybe this will be the one. Then I have another Abby Jimenez book which I didn't realise a book so we have part of your world so this is another Abby Jimenez book then we have what happens after midnight by K.L. Wolfer I bought this because I have read those summer breaking rules and I did enjoy it I didn't love it but occasionally I just enjoy like a nice little YA romance and I figured I would pick up this one because I did enjoy it enough to like want to try something else by the author so I did get that one um, I have no idea what this is about but it will be like a little YA romance kind of vibe and Sometimes I just like them, so I did pick this up. We also have Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune. This is a second chance romance. I only bought this because I'd planned to read Every Summer After for a vlog and then read this one, but it never happened. So yeah, this will probably just get shoved on my shelf until next summer. But I do love the cover. It is very, very pretty. Why did I leave it so long to film this haul? There's just far too many books. I'm sorry if I'm not giving like the best synopsis for these books, um, but I literally just don't want this video to be too long. Um, and I bought these books so long ago, I can't even remember why or what they were about. Um, anyway, next book is Never Vacation With Your Ex. This one is by Emily Wibberley and Austin Segmund Broker. Um, so this is a second chance romance, I believe, but I believe she's the one who's an asshole and he's like the nice one. So I think it's like um, Grumpy Sunshine, but I think she's the grumpy, he's the sunshine, I think. Um, um, but yeah, it's like a little summer YA, I think, rom-com. And bought this for my summer TBR. Just never read it. Um, again, another one that was bought for the summer TBR but didn't get to is Our Scorching Summer by Kells and Denise Stone. I saw this on someone's bookstagram and it sounded like a fun time. But I cannot remember what it's about now. I believe it's a friends to lovers romance. And I also think there's forced proximity in here. So yeah, I have that for next summer, I guess. Then we do have a witchy romance, which is What You're Gonna Do by Avery 
Flynn and I love this cover so much. It says on the back, an unlucky witch and her know-all nemesis must team up in the first of a new spicy romantic comedy series. So yes, anything like that is my cup of tea. It's giving me XX vibes. So if it's anything like XX, I'm going to be obsessed with this. And this is another stunning floppy paperback. Next we have King of Wrath by Anna Huang. So I really want to read all of the Twisted books. I've only read the first so far. Um, but after I finished the first one, I immediately went out and bought this one. So this one is a billionaire's uh, romance, I believe. And I've heard a lot of good things about this series. So I just randomly got it. I think it was when I was like getting something. And to get like a stamp on my loyalty card at Waterstones, I needed to spend like a little bit more money. So I just grabbed this. So yeah, we'll definitely get to this soon. Because like I said, I've heard a lot of good things. And I can't wait to because I feel like I'll be obsessed with this book. Like, I think I'll like this more than a Twisted series. I think this involves like a CEO and he's kind of blackmailed into getting engaged to some woman or something. I don't even know, but it, it's a romance and it's by Anna Huang, so I'm going to enjoy it. Okay, so this next one is A Thorn Princess by LJ Shen. I almost said that wrong. By LJ Shen. And this one I bought because I saw this either on a video or a bookstagram like post. And as soon as I heard about it, I like checked to see if my books had it and they did and I went and bought it. But I couldn't tell you why, like what about the story I mean, that I was really intrigued by. Um, but on the front it says, my bodyguard, my protector, my ultimate sin. So I'm assuming it's a bodyguard romance, I'm down for that. So I'm sure I will love this. And I think this one was also one of those like same ones I'd seen someone talk about and then I decided to buy it. This is Paper Princess, the Royals book one. These Royals will ruin you. Um, I believe this is like a romance and it says on the back from strip clubs and truck stops to southern coast mansions and prep schools, one girl tries to stay true to herself. Wealth, excess, deception. It's like nothing Ella has ever experienced and if she's going to survive her time in the royal palace, she'll need to learn to issue her own royal decrees. Kind of low-key sounds like Gossip Girl but make it royal. Or yeah, I don't know. It's a romance. Sounds intriguing. Um, Apparently intriguing enough that I bought it. So we have that one. Um, next we have this Lindsay Kalk um, proof which came out in July. So it's not relevant anymore but it's love me do um and i just randomly got sent this it's a rom-com never read anything by lindsay kelp but it sounds like a fun time then we have an arc of girl goddess queen by Bea fitzgerald this is a greek mythology retelling of persephone um it's supposed to be very like feminist and girl boss and it sounds really really fun and i love how fluffy this is as well i also have a finished copy of this somewhere in this haul that i'm going to show you guys but Yes, I did also receive this. This next one I was sent by the publisher and this is the fake up by Justin Myers. It says two X's, one big secret, let the games begin. Yeah, it's a rom-com. I think this has a fake dating and I do like this cover. Next we have What's Wrong with Secretary Kim. I had volume one, so I bought volume two. This is a man manhwa or manha. I can't remember what you call it. Oh, it has full colour illustrations. It originally started as a webtoon and is also a K-drama and I love K-dramas, so very very excited to read this one so next we have attack on titan omnibus and this has volumes 22 23 and 24 now it looks like the little gift note has fallen out but i'm pretty sure this is from one of my amazing patrons vanessa um so yeah this is part of the attack on titan series i love this series honestly kind of hard to describe what this series is actually about but it is amazing it's just such good storytelling and yeah i received this one and i love this cover just the format of these it's just so satisfying um so yeah we have volumes 22 23 and 24 then next we have this fairly exclusive edition of forged by blood by igbo oxen and this one is so pretty the color palette is just like out of this world but the sprayed edges oh my days have you ever seen something so beautiful um so yeah look at that gold foiling on the heart back and then we have these stunning end papers which also have foiling on them and then we have our end papers on the back with the same foiling it is also signed by the author we also have some reversible art on the just jacket again super super pretty but the naked book is what takes the cake look at this look at this stunning piece of art like i love it so much so yeah that is the fairly exclusive edition this is from the adult um monthly box and this is inspired by nigerian mythology and it is also a fantasy so yeah i'm obsessed with this edition i love these edges so much like these are definitely getting displayed on my shelf so next we have this arc of one of us is back and this is by karen m mcmanus this is the same author who wrote one of us is lying and this i think is set after like the original books are 
but yeah i'm very excited to give this a read at some point it's a YA thriller and i just love this cool proof and it has like this bit in the front and it's just super super cool so yes i do have this to read soon and i do need to get more into my YA thrillers i'm trying to pick up the pace a little bit here but we have um another romance which is a summer one same time next summer this is by annabelle monaghan and this is what it looks like yeah i have no idea what this is about but it's a summer romance then we have will they or won't they by ava wilder this one i was sent by the publisher it says on screen they're in love off screen they can't stand each other so this is kind of like a hate to love romance they're forced to like be together um and yeah it sounds fun i think it's a celebrity romance too so i do really love those then we have another sports romance which is like a formula one racing kind of one this is redeemed it's part of the dirty air series it's book four by lauren asher so i only own the first two of these i still need to get book three in this edition but like i said when i was leaving wall streams i decided to buy this i bought this when i went to bath don't know why i have read this or this other YA book which was hot british boyfriend and i did like it it was a fun time so i figured i'd give this a go like i said sometimes as a palette cleanser i just love a little YA rom-com just like a really easy read we've got hot dutch daydream and this is by christy boyce and this is what the cover looks like super cute and yeah it's a little cute YA fluffy rom-com then next we have this time it's real by Anne liang i've heard amazing things about this it says when 17 year old eliza lynn's essay about meeting the love of her life goes viral her life changes overnight get ready to fall in love with this hilarious romantic comedy i'm pretty sure this has fake dating in it but i could be wrong but apparently it's very very adorable then we have the do over by lynn painter this one i got because i do love lynn painter's books but this is like where every day she wakes up and she's reliving like the same day i think which i'm not a huge fan of that like concept but I still want to read this because, like I said, I love Lynn Painter's writing. So I bought it just to, like, try and give it a go. I'm sure I will love it because I've loved every single book I've read of hers. But, yeah, not 100% sure I like that kind of, like, trope. Then next we have The Hardest Fall by Ella Mays. I bought this because I saw it all over BookTok and, like, Bookstagram. I think it's a sports romance. And, like I said, I do want to read more of those. So I did decide to pick it up. Like I've said before, I'm really sorry I'm rushing through these. And you guys probably have no idea what they're about because I don't. Um, but this video, I can sit on my camera's already an hour long. Um, so let me pick up the pace we have beach idols by georgie tilney this is supposed to be perfect for fans of emily henry it's enemies to lovers one bookshop in paradise two bit arrivals a whole summer to get through sounds perfect um then next we have a fantasy this is cassandra clare's sword catcher i was very lucky to have received an arc of this and i'm very very excited about it i love how floppy this is and on the back it says two outcasts have the power to change everything but will they grasp the hand destiny so yes this comes out in october I'm very very excited about it okay so next we have a shadow crown by melissa blair this is the halfling saga now the only reason i bought this is because this is like the big floppy us paperback which i hadn't seen anywhere and in my head i was convinced that when i bought the first book it was in the same format and i was like well i have to buy this whilst like i can see it because like i want them to be the same size and match but it turns out i never owned the us one i just had the normal uk paperback so now i have this big ass like floppy american edition of the second book but the first book is like smaller and not floppy and they don't match which really annoys me so i think i'm just gonna have to track down the first book in like this bigger size if it even exists um but this is part of a fantasy romance series i believe the first book is a broken blade and it's very kind of throne of glass like sarah j mass vibes and yeah it's just supposed to be really really good so the only reason i bought the second one is because like i said i thought i had the first book in the same format i was wrong i do not Okay, so here is the other NS Perkins book I mentioned. It turns out I bought three. Um, so we have Where Time Stands Still, which is this one. And then we have Our Final Love Song, which is this one. So yeah, I don't know what any of these are about. But because I loved her other books so much, I just want to read everything by this author now. And I'm sure I will love them. So we do have those two. Then we have this Proof of the Scarlet Veil by Shelby McHuron. This is a fantasy romance. It is set, I think, in the same world as the Seven and Dove trilogy. And I'm pretty sure you do have to read the trilogy first before this, but I could be wrong. Now, I haven't actually finished that trilogy. I've only read the first book and I need to reread it and then read the other two. But I always get put off like reading them because I've heard the other two aren't that like, good. Um, so if that's not the case, please let me know. But yeah, I was very kindly sent a proof of this book, which does come out very soon. It comes out on the 28th of September. So it actually did just come out. And yeah, I can't wait till the Fairly edition because it's so beautiful. Hopefully I can actually read this soon once I have read the other books. It's a vampire romance and I've heard it's amazing. So yes, we have The Scarlet Veil. 
back. I've been talking for over an hour. I literally hate myself. Okay guys, so we're definitely picking up the pace because I still have a lot of books to show you and this video is already an hour long. Um, but the next book we have is He Who Drowned the World by Shelley Parker Chan and this one has these cool sprayed edges. It's a Waterstones exclusive edition. It is signed. I did pre-order this but I haven't read the other book which is She Who Became the Sun. I also don't know if this is a sequel or not. It probably is but I did pre-order it and yeah it's an adult fantasy that's kind of all i know i'm not gonna lie to this next one i i'm so happy that i bought this like i'm obsessed with it so you may have seen in one of my unboxing videos that i have the dutch tradition of throne of glass and the dutch publishers literally just like slay so hard honestly um because their editions are 10 out of 10 they have every spec you can think of so this is crown of midnight in the dutch edition obviously i can't read this because i do not speak or read dutch but i had to have this and you'll see why this is the hardback with the dust jacket on i don't know if you guys can see it but it has like this gorgeous silver like metallic vibe it also has these sprayed edges which are really really cool it has end pages look at these they're so cool look at fleet for this is one of my favorite scenes in the whole like series it's so cool ours on the naked hardback which again like look how cool that is so so stunning but then we have a freaking reversible dust jacket like the only places i see reversible dust jackets are book boxes so literally like what is the uk playing at like why don't we have this um but this is what the dust jacket looks like i love it so freaking much um so yeah and it also has a bloody ribbon like honestly everything you could want from a special edition is on these books so i get this from a site called i think it's donna books is what they're called so i have the throne of glass edition and i have this one and i believe that these are coming out like every few months maybe could be wrong it could be every year but yes these are like limited editions um and i just had to have this as a serial mass collector of course i had to and i love it so much like i'm so happy that i got this so next we have zahara and this says guardians of dawn this is by sj jones and this was in the monthly why illumicrate so this is what it looks like um so we have this dust jacket which i think is quite a cool choice this has such pretty sprayed edges as well which look like this we have some pretty end paper art we also have this page here and then we have art under the dust jacket as well which i'm obsessed with this it reminds me of um heaven's heaven's official blessing i think it's called the art style is very similar and like the colors and the blossoms i just love like the style but yeah this is what it looks like how freaking pretty is that like look at that absolutely love the design um it says the maiden who was loved by death so yes this sounds so incredible and it says he has stepped into a stunning world of forbidden magic romance and adventure from the author of new york times best-selling winter song so yeah very very excited about this i love the cover the art is beautiful and the colors um and yeah i just think this is such a nice book look it's so pretty next we have the fairy loot edition of babel have i read this book no do i own four editions of it yes but you all know me i am nothing if not extra i have to buy multiple editions of pretty books and i am going to read this eventually because i do want to it's a dark academia which is the thing that puts me off because i just feel like i'm not smart enough for dark academia but i do really want to read this because i feel like i will learn a lot from it and it will be very 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 valuable to read but also amazing and like i said i read yellowface or Arif kong early this year didn't think i was gonna love that i thought it'd be like three stars it was five stars and one of the best books i've ever read now i do want to make my way through everything by her um so babel's definitely like gonna be one i read but i was always really really sad that i missed out on the fairy loot edition of babel because just look at it like i love this light gray like it's so freaking pretty and the sprayed edge is so cool as well but the end pages with the gold foiling just literally like i just love them they're just so so stunning and then underneath the dust jacket it looks like this here so yeah i absolutely love this edition i think this literally like was in the adult box just before i got my subscription and yeah this was restocked in a fairy trove so i managed to get my little paws on it and i'm so glad that i did because it will just make such a good addition to my shelf it does have a signature i don't know if this is digital or actually hand signed but either way a signature signature and i'm very very happy with this edition and it's just gonna look so beautiful on my shelf next to all of my other babel books and 
I just I love it. I love this gorgeous light grey. It's like a pastel grey, if that's even a thing, with the gold and the silver. I'm just so happy to finally have this book, honestly. It's so pretty. Next we have Solo Leveling Volume 7. My favourite manga manhwa manha. Is it manhwa? I think it's manhwa. Or is it manha? I could just Google it, but my phone's across the room. But yeah, basically this is a Korean comic and it's my favourite of all time. I love this series so much. I haven't actually read volume 7 yet, but I do plan to soon. This is just like such a good series. It's great if you love gaming. Now, I don't. I'm not a gamer at all. Never will be. But it's based on this guy who's like levelling up. And every time he levels up, he's getting stronger and stronger. So he goes from being the weakest to like the strongest. And it's just so good. I love it. And this is going to be animated next year, which just makes my heart so happy. So yeah, I cannot wait to read this new volume. And... I just love it. Like, look how gorgeous the art is inside. If you're looking for a good comic start, read this one. 10 out of 10. So freaking good. So next, we have my faves. We have BTS Beyond the Story. Um, so yeah, this is the celebrating 10 years of, like, BTS, like, 10-year record of them. Written by Myung Suk Kang, I think is how you say it, or I might pronounce that incorrectly, but it is written by someone else, and it's kind of, like, basically about their careers over the last 10 years, but then BTS, like, got interviewed by this person. So it is, like, BTS's book, but it's not written by them, if that makes sense. Um, and I did get some cool photo cards with it, and it has, like, just everything about their, like, careers, um, from beginning till now, and yeah it has like photos and stuff and i just love them so much um, and i feel like if you're army then you need this book um so yeah i did pre-order this and i can't wait to read it i haven't read it yet but i will eventually i'm not a huge like non-fiction person so this will be one that i do read slowly but yeah we do have bts beyond the story which very very happy that i have this in my hands so this next one i've spoken about in unboxing so i'm not really going to go into it but this is the hundred loves of juliet by evelyn sky this is kind of like a fated romance story. I think it's like a tragedy as well. And I think it's a retelling, obviously, of Romeo and Juliet. So, yeah, I didn't ask for this. I just kind of randomly got sent it. But I do love the cover. It's very, very gorgeous. Let me know if you've read this because I'd never heard about it before. But it sounds very, very interesting. I don't read a lot of Romeo and Juliet retellings. So it will be fun to read something that's a little bit different. But, yeah, it says on the front here, throughout centuries, across continents, they will never stop searching for one another. So... Yeah, let me know if you read it. Okay, so next we have Masters of Death by Olivia Blake. And this one is the Watson Exclusive Edition. I bought this simply for these edges, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I do want to read this, obviously. Um, but the sprayed edges just had me sold. I would have just waited for like a paperback of this otherwise. This exclusive edition was too stunning. So it says here, a ghost infested mansion, a small group of supernatural beings and an unlikely quest. So yeah, that is what sold me. That like tiny little synopsis. And these end papers as well. Like... They just, like, they got me. Like, look at this. This art style, whoever the artist is for this, you are literally incredible. Like, look at those end papers. I'm obsessed. Um, So, yeah, that is the Walt Stones exclusive edition. I honestly don't know a lot about it, but like I said, there's a quest, supernatural characters, and it just sounds good. The only reason I'm a little bit, like, dubious about it is because I tried to read Alone With You in the Ether by Olivia Blake, and I could not make it past page 70 one of the worst things i've ever read please do not come for me but just not for me so i'm hoping although her writing style i think is slightly pretentious i'm hoping i will still really enjoy this one because obviously it's like very fantasy and it just sounds like a lot of fun um so yeah very very excited to read it and hopefully i do like it but if not at least i've got these really cool sprayed edges so next we have these fairly exclusive editions of the is it kiss of deception i can't remember what they're called or is it remnant chronicles I think these are the Remnant Chronicles by Mary Pearson. These are the sprayed edges which line up to make this really, really cool map. So you have to have them this way around for them to line up properly. I'm just like obsessed with these edges. They are so freaking cool. It's giving Middle Earth vibes as well for some reason. But look at the spines. Like how stunning are they? The gold i love them so much i'm so happy that i ordered these honestly i haven't read this series but i do own the original hardbacks so i definitely do want to these are what they look like so we have the dust jacket with the gold foiling i've already showed the edges and um, we have stunning end papers which are different front and back again love this art style and then under the dust jacket it looks like this which is so so pretty they're also signed by the author which is really really cool then we have a heart betrayal which looks like this here so again the white and gold design we have some gorgeous end papers here 
we have this gold foiling under the dust jacket and papers at the back of this one look like this here which is really, really cool and then the third book is called the beauty of darkness which is again the same kind of design and then the end papers on this one so cool we have our gold foiling under the dust jacket it is signed by the author again and then we have this gorgeous art on the back so those are our remnant chronicles and honestly i'm obsessed with them they're so gorgeous some of the prettiest books i own but i am going to leave them up there because if you guys could see the piles of books surrounding me like i'm trapped i'm not even kidding we're coming towards the end we still have a few books to go but we are getting there so next we have this fantasy romance this is lady of darkness by melissa k Ro Rohirik? Rohirik? I'm not sure how to pronounce it but I bought this purely because I saw someone I follow on bookstagram absolutely raving over it and I don't even know what it's about but it's fancy romance and they liked it so I bought it um so this is what it looks like with the dust jacket actually all I know is that it's got like kids disappearing from this person's home so she investigates that but then there's like a romance and that's the shit don't know anything else but I've heard it's very very good so yeah we do have lady of darkness then we have another fantasy romance which i've also forgotten what this is about but saw someone going on about it on bookstagram it says it's an epic romantic fantasy it's the legends of thesmar book one i don't know how to say this name by this author and this one is of blood and steel and this one on the back says althea zolater's death had been carved in a stone since she was a small child that was how she knew as she crept through a realm on the brink of darkness that the world was not ending not yet so yeah it says it's a gripping first book in a heart pounding epic romantic fantasy series so again i went on a bit of a romantic fantasy like hype and ordered a lot of indie hardbacks because these are very very expensive generally but with my discount of waterstones i was getting like a good price so i was taking advantage of that and i was like well let me just go crazy and order all the indie fantasy romance books and that's what i did so i had this one as well um i don't think there's much under here this is what it looks like kind of reminds me of the scarlet veil a little bit but yeah very very excited because i just love indie fantasy romance i just feel like they're the best then we have the finished copy of girl goddess queen by bella fitzgerald i had to get this just for the edges and it also has really cool end papers as well um and then the naked hardback like look at this it's so friggin pretty this is what the naked hardback looks like i don't know why but it kind of like reminds me of Howl's moving castle for some reason but yeah i just thought this was such a stunning exclusive edition and although I didn't read the arc yet, I decided I would get it because I just couldn't pass it up. Like, it's just so pretty. This next book I already talked about in my recent vlog. But this is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. This is the anniversary edition in hardback. So I haven't even read this, but I pre-ordered this last year when I came back from a Cassandra Clare event. When, like, I was still feeling the hype around Cassandra Clare. Um, totally forgot I pre-ordered it because it got pushed back and it just randomly turned up. So this is it. It's a hardback. Um, I think I do own... The other like the first book in hardback or the first two i can't remember but i have this copy now as well so yeah okay in all honesty i don't think i'm even going to need to see a gym for the next year with how heavy these books are the muscles these are about to give me no joke honestly these there's just no need there is absolutely no need for these to be this heavy but we have these books here which like i don't know if you can see them they're so pretty but they're so freaking heavy and for what like that is literally ridiculous um so we do have all the books that are in like the blood mercy series so is it behind me so here is the first book which i already had i was very kindly bought this by vanessa so thank you vanessa this is a fantasy romance series it is i think a human and a vampire end up like making a bargain together to try and take down her like cruel father or something and they fall in love so it's like forbidden romance and it's supposed to be really really amazing i had the first book which i was very kindly gifted now i have no idea if i will even like this series and unfortunately for me and my bank account i am one of those people who will buy the entire series without having read the first book which some people might not get and there isn't much logic behind it but you know what there is behind it happiness it makes me happy so i did decide to go and buy all of the other books in the series now i do kind of have a reason for this so individually these books range from 25 to 30 pounds some of them were even over 30 pounds and i was like if i'd love the first book i'm gonna want all the other like books in this series but that is a lot of money <laughs> like a lot like if it's a special edition sure but when it's not i was just kind of like that is a lot and there was a lot of books in this series so when i was like in my final days of waterstones i was like do you know what i am gonna go and just order all of them and get them at half off while i can so i did save money and it's like girl math like these 
were fine because you know I saved myself like a lot of money so I might have spent a lot of money but I saved a lot of money so it doesn't count it's girl math if you know you know but I don't actually know what order these books go in but I'll quickly show you them so we have blood solace blood grace book two it's kind of confusing to be honest how these work then we have blood sanctuary and this is part one and two now I've no idea if these come after that one or not um I'll have to look on goodreads but they both have the same cover and yeah so this is part one and two then we move on to blood union a part one and two um which is these two here again with the same cover see so yeah, we have those two and then lastly we have a blood gift which is book i think this is book wait one two three four five six seven so i think this is book seven if i just counted properly might not have counted properly i'm a little bit delirious i'm not gonna lie this is what i think is the final book in the series now there could be another book coming out for all i know i haven't done my research or maybe there's more books and i just missed them let me know if that's the case um but this is what i know to be the last book i don't think it follows the same characters i think it's different characters but this one's blood gift and it just looks like this um so those are all of the books in that series there are a lot but yeah hopefully i do like blood mercy but at least i got them for a good price and they look pretty so you know it's fine but i did just go ahead and get myself them as a like well done for your new job and also you're saving money by buying them now at half price so yes um and now we're going to move on to the last books of this very very long book haul so if you're still here congratulations well done you have my gratitude forever because i know this video is very long i have saved some of the best for last i did miss a book actually so wait we're not on the last one <sighs> we're not at the end i literally have two more stacks just gonna keep going we're just gonna keep going so next we have forget me not by julie soto this is from the illumicrate afterlight subscription this is gorgeous i love the sprayed edges i've heard many good things about this um it is signed by the author it has foiling and then under the dust jacket it looks like this so this is a, a romance and i honestly can't remember much more than that but like do i need to know anything else when this man looks like this like you had me at the tattoos i'm not gonna lie so yeah i've heard very very good things about this cannot wait to read it um so that's a fun little romance and then i have these stunning poison study books from fairy loot which i love um so this is what the spines look like i have already showed these in a vlog but this is what they look like so i'm gonna go through these super quick so these are our sprayed edges here which are stunning then it's signed by the author and then underneath the dust jacket has stunning art i love this art so so freaking much then we have magic study and then we have fire study which looks like this so yeah i'm obsessed with those editions so pretty haven't read them before but definitely will be reading them soon they're all by maria v snyder by the way i don't think i said that but yes i love those editions so we're gonna go through this last stack the other stack i have is books i've been sent by publishers but honestly i just i can't like i just do not have it in me to do it and i have already showed them all in vlogs or in my unboxing videos so it's fine you guys will have heard about them before they're not really anything I need to show you and i think all of them are already out um, but i'm quickly just going to go through this stack so i have four books by krista and becca ritchie so i don't know if i do now own them all but i have nearly all of the addicted books and i think there's like other books and some of them i didn't have so i just ordered like what i didn't have but all of them came the same way as my other editions except for this one which really bugs me because it's a different like format but it is what it is so we have hot house flower we have a long way down and we have fuel the fire which looks like this oh what's in here oh i forgot i bought this okay i totally forgot but i also bought this cute little card that says the a to z of cats so that would be going on my wall because it's really cute we have this one which i don't think is part of this series but it's called bad reputation so i did get that one and then next we have um kingdom of villains by ella fields this one i think is a dark romance i think it's fantasy romance still and then next we have indigo ridge and we have juniper hill by devney perry i think so you say the name these are like thriller romances and then we have a dark romance which is the ritual by Chantal tessia i've heard very good things about this one but i know it's super dark and then this one i can't remember what this is i saw it on bookstagram this one is book of danvers bone island tale of weeping willow by nicole fiorina and i think this one might be a dark romance i'm honestly not sure i can't remember this is what it looks like it's so stunning those are all the books in this book haul i'm so sorry if this was like 
absolutely chaotic and you have no idea what any of these books are about but this video is an hour and a half long as it is hopefully i've shortened it a bit but if it isn't i'm so sorry but also i'm not if you're here it's because you want to be and so i hope you did enjoy it if you did please do give it a big thumbs up and if you've read any of the books i've mentioned let me know your thoughts on them in the comments if you have any book recommendations feel free to leave them or if you are now going to go and buy any of these books because i've just talked about them let me know i love finding out when people like find books through me or like decide to get books like because I've mentioned them in the video and like it's piqued their interest you know what I mean like let me know I'd love to know that but yeah I hope you guys still enjoyed this video and that you enjoyed seeing the beautiful editions that I have I know I'm extremely privileged and lucky to be able to like have all these books and that is never lost on me um I love buying books receiving books books are literally my life like they're my job and they're my like life outside of my, my job if that makes sense like okay my memory card ran out of battery my camera's about to die so even my camera is telling me to shut up right now because this video is too long but i can't remember what i was saying but i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please let me know in the comments leave a black heart emoji in the comments if you did make it all the way to the end i just know i appreciate you a lot if you did all of my social media links will be in the description box down below along with the link to my patreon and that's where you're going to find early access to videos such as this one you will find a monthly a buddy read a monthly readathon a discord where we chat some live shows extra videos clothing hauls all of that good stuff it's all over my patreon so if you are interested in any extra content from me you can find it there but a big thank you to all of my current patrons i love you guys so much and i'm so grateful for you and to all of you guys i also love you very much and i'm also very grateful um so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you're all safe and well i hope you're reading lots of good books and i'll see you in the next one Bye.